Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to film a tutorial, as you can tell probably from the title of the video and the fact that I have no eye makeup on. Um, I got a lot of requests from my uh, November favorites to um, do a video with the Tom Ford Cream Shadow and the Chanel Brush because I know a lot of you wanted to see it. So originally I was going to film a um, tutorial on kind of like my everyday um, neutral smoky eye that I w I've been wearing just constantly. I've been wearing it like in the past few videos um, using my MAC shadows. But since I got a lot of requests for this, I figured I'll, I will do this. And then if you guys are still interested in seeing that, um, I can always film that another time and have that up in the next couple of weeks. So just let me know if that's something you're interested in. Um, but for now, today I am going to show you how um, I apply the cream shadow. Um, now, you can use this cream shadow a number of two ways. You can just throw that on your lid and run out the door, or you can kind of make a look with it, and that's what, what I'm going to do today, just to kind of make it a little bit more interesting, just to show you um, how I, I use it with other colors, and just create a simple look, but it's still going to look really put together. Um, so the first thing I am, I before I even start, I already have uh, my all-time favorite paint pot on. It's MAC Camel Coat, which is the Pro Long Wear Paint Pot. It looks like this. It is just the best paint pot to use when you are doing not only neutral looks, but just any kind of um, look that's going to require a lot more neutrals and, and beiges. Even if you're doing a smoky eye, it's a good base because it's not going to um, change the integrity of any of the shadows. Because it's very neutral and it's like your, your skin tone pretty much, it doesn't pull yellow like soft ochre or pink like painterly where it can alter any shadow you put on your lid. That's why I love this. So I already have this on um, just all over. So then what I'm going to do, like I do with every eye look I do, I always start with my highlight. It just gives me um, kind of a, an easy base to start with to know where to put my crease color and just to, to brighten my eye up um, again. So I'm going to use, um, I have my MAC palette here, and I'm going to use um, Orb, which is just one of my favorite highlight shades. It's not too white, too light, or too shimmery or anything like that. So I'm just going to start... And I, I usually, one thing I like about the, um, this is a 252 by MAC, um, it can fit the entire area where I want to highlight. So what I do is when I take some, I just kind of like start under my brow and just sweep down. And then my whole brow bone area is covered. And you can even bring it down a little bit, you know, in the inner corner or, or here if you want, um, just to brighten it up again. So that is my highlight. Um, then what I like to do, and this is, again, pretty much the base for any look that I do, um, I, I go in with a base crease color, <laughs> which um, I always love, um, Urban Decay Naked, which I just have in this little single, um, and I go in with my Smashbox, oops, I, um, the crease brush. So this I really love because it's really, really fluffy, um, and I just take it, just on my brush like that, tap off the excess, and this I just apply liberally pretty much all over my my crease area and and when you when I do my I make I do hold my eye I'm not tugging it or pulling it I'm just holding it taut just so you can um, get a more even application so don't don't worry I use a very light light hand and and I apply it just pretty much working it in the crease even going slightly over that brow bone as you can see um, just to try to warm it up and you don't have to be precise with this. You just want to warm up your crease just so you have an idea of what you are what you are going to do with the other shadows. And this is also good. This look here, you could even just do this if you are just, you know, looking for a quick everyday look. Put in a highlighter and a crease color and you're you're good to go because that's one good thing about that paint pot. It gives you a neutral base on your on your eyelid where you don't have to worry about putting a shadow on your lid. You can see that is done. So then we are going to go in now with the Chanel Cream Shadow Brush, which unfortunately I do think this is discontinued. I could not find this anywhere online. I think you probably check eBay or check your local Chanel counters because they might um, still have it. So what I do is here is my cream shadow. Here is the lid. I'm going to take some of the product and work it, I already have some in the lid, but I'm just going to work it in, in the lid into the brush. So I have a nice amount, not too much. You can see that hopefully. And I'm going to start on this eye and just kind of create a shape on my lid. And it's angled so it's, it just fits perfectly. And 
And as you can see, I'm just, I'm keeping it strictly on my eyelid. Um, one good thing about the, the crease of this brush, which I'm sure you can find any type of angled synthetic brush, um, the point kind of works as a guide for you so you know you're not going to take it too far into your crease. As you can see, hopefully you can see that as I am dragging it over. And then what I do is I just kind of pat it, the rest here on my lid, just to give it a little bit more intensity, as you can see from the two different um, eyes. Okay. On to the other eye. And I do have it on both sides of my brush, just so you know. So when I go back and forth, I'm getting the, the same amount of product on each side. So when I go in the lid, I just kind of go like that. You just want to work up to the entire, um, you know, the entire lid and just the amount of color that you want. If you want it really light, you leave it really light. If you want to really build it up, um, build it up. So that's just the one a little bit more here. You just go back and forth. Now, as you can see, that's pretty much it for the cream shadow. Um, you can leave it like this. This this would be your perfect, you know, easy everyday cream shadow look. This is what I was doing a lot um, last month, just to kind of go put it on and out the door, and you could just line your eyes and throw on your mascara, and and you're done. Um, I <laughs> am going to kind of show you how you can play this up a little bit. Um, I have one of my products that I did forget to mention in my favorites. This is the Dior Grage, um, not Grage, oh my god, uh, the Cure Canage palette. I don't know why I said Grage. Um, it looks like this. This is just absolutely beautiful. I've been loving it. Um, just as an everyday quad, or not quad, quint. Um, it's, it's gorgeous. I think this is just one of the best quads ever. Quint. Why do I keep calling it quad? Okay. Now, what I'm going to do, just to kind of show you how you can um, smoke this up a little bit, I'm going to take this shadow right here, which is kind of like a shimmery, taupey-ish color, and I'm going to take a MAC 217 with this, and I'm going to place this in my um, outer crease. So I'm going to tap it, and I'm going to just blend it ever so slightly into my crease, as you can see. Hopefully what I'm doing. I'm really just, just using the side of the brush, tapping it, and then just working it into that outer, outer V area. I'm going to do the same to the other eye. And I'm tapping it just to really place that product. I don't really, really want to move it all over my lid, because um, I don't want to ruin that cream shadow that we did. So that is just working that. And you can see that they work really well together. You can even layer it over it if you wanted to, but I really want to keep that um, shadow in the front part of my eye. Then I'm going to take my It Cosmetics Airbrush Blending Crease Brush, which I love, and I'm going to go in with that kind of purpley shade right here, which is just beautiful. And I'm going to take a little bit on my brush and really tap it off because I don't want too much. And then I'm just going to go over that outer color and just blend it, and I'm really gonna just blend it in that outer, in that outer corner, because I just want the, the smokiness to be on the outer half of my eye and keep my um, inner really light. And then by layering those two colors, it just gives your eye just a little bit of dimension. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this very gently and just kind of swing it over to my crease just very lightly, just to bring that product in a little bit more. Just a little bit more and I love this brush it really gives you that airbrushed look and these these it brushes are not expensive whatsoever and I think they just work with any any type of look that you're doing if you're doing just a simple look um, they work well they really work too when you're you're building color as well they're really good for the money okay so I think that is it for the, the eyes. Um, so I'm going to take my smudger brush that's also from It Cosmetics, and I'm going to mix um, these two shadows right here and do under my eyes and just smudge them under my eyes because this has just been better than any pencil brush I have ever used. Just 
just really concentrating it on the outer half. a little bit more and I'm going to take just a little bit of the purpley color and just put that on the outside and if you have any fallout or you think there's anything I take this Bobbi Brown um, sheer powder brush it's very fluffy and it has nothing on it and I just really wipe away anything this is not gonna wipe away any of my makeup or or anything like that I'm just seriously just wiping away any fallout and then And that way, it just goes away and <laughs> it doesn't mess up my, um, my look. So, that is that. And now what I'm going to do is line my eyes. And this is the Kevin Aquan Precision Liquid Liner. My friend Maria, um, she talked about this, I think, in one of her favorites. And then she had it in her empties. And I was like, I need that li eyeliner because it just looked amazing. I love, um, like, felt tip eyeliner, uh, liquid eyeliners. I don't really care for the Kat Von D because um, it's like more of a brush, but this is just like literally a marker and it is so black, so amazing. You can get such a good um, line on your eyes with this. I just, I cannot tell you how amazing this is. So I am just going to hold my eye again, not pulling it, just holding it just so I can get a good precise line with this. And I am going as close to the lash line as I can. And just working a little wing. Because we don't want to go too overboard with our liner because we do have a lot going on on the eye. So that to me is fine. I just, just a nice little, little wing on my eye and I'll do the other eye. And the good thing about this is that the, because it's more of like a marker type, it's not very flimsy, so it's not going to go all over the place when you're trying to do a, a liquid look. It's going to hold its shape and its point. I'm trying not to talk so I don't mess up. <laughs> There we go. So, um, I usually let my eyeliner dry a little bit and then go in with mascara. And what I'm gonna do, so what I will do while that's kind of drying, I'm just gonna line my waterline. This is me, my um, MAC Feline Eye Coal, which is just my holy grail, all-time favorite. I use it every single day, as you can tell since it's a teeny little one. Um, and then what I do, when I do mas mascara, I usually do, and this is just a little tip and trick for you guys that I have picked up along the way, you should always do your bottom mascara first. Um, only because if you do your top lashes and then they're still wet, when you go to look, you know, like this to do your bottom lashes, you're going to get mascara on your eyes. And that's how usually it happens is you're like looking like this and there's, it's not dry. So that's why you get the little, little dots. So if you do your bottom lashes first, um, they're going to be dry by the time you're doing your top. So it's, it's really nothing. And this is just the MAC um, Giga Black. Um, I think everyone I know uses this. And it is just the most amazing mascara for your bottom lashes. I also like the L'Oreal um, Telescopic. But it's like almost dried out. So it's not going to give me like the pretty look that I want. So you look a little crazy when you do your bottom lashes first. But trust me. It's worth it. And I'm going in now with my Marc Jacobs um, Omega Lash Holy Grail Insane, the best mascara I have ever used in my life. It, it's just, it's gorgeous. And I'm just going to start just by working the outside from the base of my lashes up, pulling them out to give kind of a look. I'm going to pull my eye a little bit just to, to give it a little easier access to my inner corner lashes. Okay. 
see. You can already see a difference in, <laughs> in from one eye to the next. This is the most amazing mascara. And if you do get any of the mascara that gets on your your eye, don't worry about it. I have the best brush that I go in with to take care of it. Okay, there we go. And what I do when I have a little dot like that. This is the Japanesque number 232 brush. I don't even know if they make this anymore. It's like a pencil type brush. Very dense, very um, pointed, but it, it's very, like, it works with you. So what I do is if I ever have an issue, I just take this brush and I work right over with whatever, like, mascara, and it takes away it, and it doesn't, you know, ruin the integrity. If you use a Q-tip, sometimes you might smudge away too much of the shadow, where this is just a brush, so it's just going to blend it away. So that is my look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to close my eyes so you can see what it looks like. And I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it kind of gave you an idea of how I use it with that brush. Um, I know you can't get that brush, but maybe you can find something very similar. I'm sure there are uh, dupes of it out there. So this is my, I'm not sure what I'm going to call this look yet, but this is just a smoky neutral, you know, using a cream shadow. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, please leave them down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching guys. Bye.